It's time now for Better Money, and today we're talking about what's often someone's biggest retirement asset, that is your 401k. Joel Johnson is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti, and he's here now with some 401k strategies. Uh, so important that people are involved in their 401k if it's an option. Right, and for most people, they have some type of retirement plan at work. If they don't, they need to start their own. But today we're talking about 401ks or 403bs, which almost everybody has. Okay, the first thing you need to do is check your risk level. Right, people get in trouble because they take too much risk in their 401k. They look at that fund that performed the best last year and they put all their money into that fund and then it goes down and they take their money and they switch again. The way to solve that problem of wanting to switch and chase returns is what we call it in the business is check your risk level. Never take more risk than is appropriate. How do you know how much risk you should take? Think about how, how it would feel if you lost 10% or 20%. Look at that in dollar terms. You have $100,000 saved. How would it feel if you lost $25,000? You shouldn't be taking risk if it would feel bad, make sure you're not taking the amount of risk where you could lose that money. Okay. Number two, you want to take free money from your employer. That is the company match. So if you figure out how much they're giving, um, you want to make sure you're saving at least that to get the free money. At least that. And you'd be amazed, Kara, at how many people don't do that. It's like walking over $100 bills on the sidewalk and not picking them up. And they'll think, well, this I can't have my paycheck go down right now. But um, sometimes, would you say, most people, once they just do it, they kind of learn and they won't even miss it. Right. And that's what we tell people. Look, just take a stretch. You know, this is the time of year where people have open enrollment and so on. Take a stretch. Save more than you think you can. You can always take that number down in your 401k, but it's just you won't miss the money in six months. Okay. You will not miss the money. And most people won't miss the money in six months. You'll love it when you retire. All right. Yes. Simplify your fund selection. I think, you know, there's so many options. Um, I know you can go to a professional and they can tell you what percentage to put in each one, but it gets confusing. There's a lot of options to it choose. It gets very confusing. And 20 years ago, 401ks had three or four choices. Now they have 60, 80. Right. It's very overwhelming. And people spread their money out amongst too, too many different places. Many times those funds are buying the same stocks, the same things, and so we're just creating the illusion of diversification. It's important that you simplify things so you understand it. For most people, four or five funds will do the job. Four or five funds. If you got more than that, then you might want to redo it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And number four, if you're over 59 and a half, you want to look at rollover options, meaning we shouldn't just leave it in the work account? For most people, they shouldn't leave it in the work account. Some people should, but for most people, they need to be aware that if they're working for an employer and they're over 59 and a half, even if they're working for that employer, they can usually move some or all of that 401k money out. Why would you want to do that? For flexibility and control. But this needs to be explored with a financial advisor. Some people shouldn't move the money out of that 401k, but for some people, there's much more flexibility and control if they roll the money over tax-free into their own individual retirement. Right. Account. It won't cost you anything. You just have to do it nope. the right way. Correct. Okay. So to learn more about all of this, um, the Ultimate 401k Guide is a free offer, and it's yours. All you have to do is go to BetterMoneyTV.com, click on the box that says click here to receive your free offer, and Joel and the team will send it to you. Yeah, it's a great book. My business partner wrote it. It's been a wonderful resource for many of our clients and many of our viewers. All right. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.